I did a show where I went off, it was called Excellent Adventure, and I was supposed to drive into Syria, where I used to go as a kid from Lebanon. So I flew to Lebanon with a mate, and we were going to go on this road trip into Syria. But the director said, before we go, uh, be nice to see what it was like growing up in Lebanon. Let's go to your old school. So I went to my old school, which is called Brumana High School. And very weird, it's a Quaker school in the mountains above Beirut. And it was built by Quakers from Darlington in 1860. Like, what the fuck they were doing there? <laughs> I have no idea. But anyway, so I went there. And I was filming in the, in the grounds because I told, I got a fixer and he'd said, yeah, yeah, we sorted it out. And this woman marches out, she's livid and she's the headmistress. And it turns out the fixer did what I would have done. He just took the money and fucked off. He didn't ask anyone. So she had no idea what we were doing. So she starts screaming at me, what are you doing here? And I go, I'm really sorry, we're making a documentary. And why? I go, well, because I went to school here. She goes, who gives a shit? So I was like, yeah, fair point. But I was like, to be honest, I think I'm probably one of your more famous alumni. And she looked at me and said, I don't think so. And I go, well, who's more? And she goes, Osama bin Laden. And I go, okay. <laughs> so then she panicked because it's a Quaker school. Can you imagine taking prospective parents around and going, uh, you know, Quakers are pacifists and saying, I don't know if you know about our most famous alumni, uh, Osama bin Laden. <laughs> so they then denied it. And I tried to find a school photo of me and bin Laden because he was 16 and I was six. And this was 1974. Uh, so we were there together for a year, but obviously I didn't know him. I didn't meet him. I, he didn't look like that at the time. The Bin Ladens looked like the Partridge family back then. So, <laughs> but yeah, I did. Right. So it's a shame you didn't get to know him because you could have maybe convinced him, you know, his life could have gone a different way. It's like these people who say that a time machine, they go back and kill baby Hitler, or at least go back and tell him that his art was pretty good. You yeah. Know, he could have changed the world. Yeah. So you... Well, maybe I'd have joined Al Qaeda. Who knows? You could have gone the other way. Yes, it could. Yeah. <laughs> It could have done. Um, growing it's up, it's not good for me when I go to the states, though, because they look at my passport, born in Beirut. Then they look it up online. It says trigger happy, comedy terrorist, went to school <laughs> with Bin Laden. I've got visas from Iran, North Korea, Congo. It's 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 no, it's not a pleasant thing when I go to to America. Yeah, especially in an airport if you tell them you're there to shoot a pilot. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs>